concealer. It's always a super tricky thing to do. It's always gonna crease, it looks cakey, it doesn't look good, it doesn't feel right. And it's just very difficult overall to get the nice, like a nice amount of concealer. So I'm gonna tell you all the tips and tricks that I found while testing products, doing all of these stuff, and how I keep it from creasing under my eyes. So before we get into it, make sure to like the video if you wanna see more videos like these, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you wanna see five videos a week, Monday through Friday, all on beauty related. So I know other people might have talked about it before, like Wayne Goss, I think I saw Alexandra and Neely talking about it. If that's how you pronounce their names, I'm really sorry if, if it's not like that. All right, so step one that I have to tell you is to moisturize the hell out of your under eye. And that's one thing that you should definitely do. I put a couple of eye creams under my eye. I bring even my regular cream all the way under my eyes and then add on top on top. And even now I feel like it's not enough. I feel dry. My skin is just dry overall. And the problem with having dry skin sometimes is that it over overproduces oils after. So it just starts to crease or you put too much powder and it looks very dry and cakey. I'm gonna start with the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream. You, know, you wanna put a nice amount, a nice, nice, nice amount. I put a little bit. I always add and sometimes even my primer, I bring it all the way under my eye. And you wanna make sure you tap, you know, under your eyes, in your creases, where there's lines. And you wait a, like a couple minutes so it's really, really into your skin. It's really about trying everything that will work for you. Uh, but this definitely works for me. So, And you're going to avoid getting wrinkles throughout the day um, and like fine lines if you're moisturized properly. Because sometimes I don't. And I can definitely see after I wash off my face and everything, I feel like I can see some lines. And I'm only 22 I know, but my under eye is just, that's how it is. And it's my genetics. I can't really do anything about it. So then I add another one on top of it, which is the Ole Henriksen uh, Banana Bright Eye Cream. The reason why I add this one on top is because it has a little bit of a yellow cast and it's going to cancel out the blueness that I have under my eye. So if you don't have a color corrector um, or anything like this, because you can you can add a color corrector. Um, I recommend you getting a cream that has a little bit of yellowness under in it and it's gonna help color correct and make your eye look brighter. So this seems pretty hydrated. Now I am passing to my regular primer which I will bring all the way under the eyes as well. And this is the Marc Jacobs Undercover Primer, the coconut one. Super moisturizing, it feels super nice on the skin and it really helps with everything. Bring it all the way under. And that's what I call super, super moisturized. And all the tips and tricks that I'm telling you right now, it can be for anywhere on your skin where you have a lot of fine lines and that it like creases or anything. So on the side here, under your eyes, on your forehead, in between here. So it's really for anywhere in the face where it creases a lot. Now that we're all prepped, primed, moisturized, everything, and you feel the plump into your skin, which is amazing by the way. The next step that is extremely important and I've been doing it for a while and I absolutely love it, it's adding a night primer under my eyes. I talked about this trick in other videos but I really wanted to have a single video to tell you everything. Um, so I'm gonna show you different eye primers that you could use and some primers that you can't use under your eyes for different reasons. So I have four different primers in my hands like that and uh we're gonna start with the one that i have been using one primer that i recommend is something that is inexpensive and that is mostly clear or that has a little bit of a tint in it so for example this eyeshadow primer from wet and wild is like two dollars maybe i think and this one is clear you just have to shake it properly you put it under your eye not a lot just a minimal amount where you have some lines and you make sure to extend your eye, like your creases, and then you press it into it. And that will just block the oils from coming further out. And it's gonna put the barrier between the concealer and your under eyes, but it's still gonna be moisturized. The other one that I like that I don't have at the moment is the e.l.f. primer. This one is really inexpensive too, and I feel like it would work really, really amazing. The one that I really, really don't recommend is, for example, the P. Louise base. The reason why is that one has too much moisture in in the formulation, which is gonna 
crease anyways under your eyes and me when I put this on top of my eye and I put my eyeshadow it looks absolutely beautiful but then one hour after it just creases everywhere and it's really not good if you really want to block the oils from your under eye from on your eye anyways this one is just there's a few things you like and you don't like about certain ones one if you want to really cancel out a lot of uh, darkness everything and then you put something darker on top you can use the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer this one is really dry and it really mixes well with other products uh, especially when you have it on the sides and everything so this one would be a good idea to take um, if it's a little bit more expensive more on the high end but it works well with other products another one that i've been trying out which is completely clear even though it looks like there's a little tint to it like a peachy tint is the smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer and this one is so like it becomes really really dry so if you're really really oily that could be one for you um because it works and i'm gonna be trying this one out today i never tried it under my eyes but on top of my eye let me tell you there is nothing that it pa that is passing through nothing at all you put just a little bit amount tiniest bit ever it's a little tint but when you warm it up it just com completely disappears so i warm it up in between i just pat it under here and sometimes you know when i'm really really dry i do put oil on my face and i do i do drag it all the way under my eyes and it helps so if you're that dry that might help for you and the nice thing about an eyeshadow primer is that it will grab the pigment that you're putting on top afterwards so the concealer will stay better under your eye and i'm telling you like i'm not joking sometimes when i want to remove everything else after it's very very hard to remove it's like crazy like right now i can feel that it is becoming sticky um and i want to concentrate it mostly here in the inner corners you wait you feel it because it, it kind of dries and then you might have to reapply a little bit but you still want to feel hydrated so that if you're really oily around your nose on your nose that will like help you not becoming oily during the day so if you're oily it's also for you if you have deep creases it's for you if you're dry it's for you you just have to do different steps and arrange it and then try it um pretty good it feels really really good so i'm not gonna add any more because then if you add too much you'll feel dry so it's a really a ratio of how you feel it and how it looks under the eye you don't want it to be too dry and like be stuck in the same place that looks good so i'm just gonna put my foundation real quick before we put the concealer and then i'll be right back for the concealer right so foundation is placed it looks kind of crazy right now um but i have different concealers and the more liquid it is the easier it's going to be putting it under the eyes but you can always try different concealers different formulations i do mostly have cream concealers and i feel like it still works um i feel like the rare beauty one might be a little bit too I would say light so then I like to mix it with the born this way concealer because when it's too light it's gonna create a, a gray cast under your eye you put the tiniest amount under your eye so I'm just putting like one dot just like that since it is full coverage and then I'm just gonna be placing it and tapping it right there as you can see like it blocks off like the tiniest dot I don't know if you can see the dot that I put but it's the tip of the applicator and it covered pretty much everything. I don't really have a lot of dark circles, so I can put less than some other people. I also recommend you using either your finger or a brush because a sponge is really going to absorb a lot of the product. Make sure to tap it into those creases so you really open up your eye. You do weird faces to extend those lines the minimal most minimal amount of product and then if you want to brighten up i do use another concealer so let's say the rare beauty one again with the same amount a really tiny dot the most tiniest amount and i'm not even even putting it under my eye i'm putting it under like there and then when i blend it i'm just gonna drag it wherever i need it and we blend it I am not saying that it will erase completely the creases because it's again it's a ratio that you have to work on but it will definitely diminish any creases that you have. I'm using the concealer Rare Beauty just because when people would try it 
it would crease so much. It was literally the worst concealer to put under your eyes. Literally the worst. And me, I was surprised at how easy it would crease. And even now, I didn't set it yet. And it's creasing a little bit. So you do have to set it. But if you don't set it, like it doesn't look that bad. But you still have to set it. So. And the last step to your under eye is to set it. Woohoo! And if you have a hard time with setting under eye for it to look cakey and everything, I highly recommend you getting a setting powder especially especially specified all of these things for under eyes so the one that i'm going to be using is the elf under eye powder which is a really i'm telling you this one is so good and it's only six dollars it's really really good it's white and it doesn't create anything under the eyes so i like to use a little eyeshadow brush for this one i put it a little bit I remove a bit in the cap because you don't want to set with too much because it's going to look cakey. So it's the ratio between concealer and powder and eye cream. Then if you don't have enough, you play with it, you smile, you do these lines. Make sure to look up so it doesn't crease. And you take your time. The under eye should take you the most time out of all of your face there you go i have a flawless under eye i'm gonna come up close to show you um usually i have a terrible 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 under eye but it's crazy the difference that it makes when you have all of these things so to repeat everything everything you need a lot of eye cream and eye primer it's really gonna stop the oils oils from breaking down the concealer because oils break down concealer makeup everything so you want to stop it from happening with that but you have to make sure to moisturize properly so it doesn't become dry and create more fine lines under your eyes so these two steps are like the most crucial ever for your under eyes and then you it's better to use a liquid concealer um, but you can use cream you can try with a lot of different things so me uh, most of it I use the Too Faced Born This Way even though it's more of like a cream concealer and this one to brighten which is the Rare Beauty Concealer I use it to brighten and I put the least amount possible so Mo like less is absolutely more in this case especially if you want to put less concealer make sure to have a color corrector for your under eye um and something that you really don't need to apply a lot and just pat it never like swipe anything all of these products i pat and it stays in place it doesn't move and even now it's not gonna move it's gonna look just flawless you need an under eye powder so you might have one eye powder that is just your regular powder and it works amazing for you i do have to have a different one because of my under eyes because of the yellow cast like the laura mercy setting powder it turns kind of yellowish under my eyes so i do use this elf one a lot and it works absolutely beautiful it's drugstore so again drug store products work wonders under your eyes if you layer them properly and if you put the right amount of product so you know sometimes you have troubleshooting like i said earlier so if it creases still under your eyes so that might be just because of the concealer itself and that you didn't apply enough powder it's like the ratio powder to concealer is really important and it, i'm telling you like if you apply too much concealer and not enough powder it's going to crease anyway so it's really a balance between both of the products and it's going to look really really good so if you don't have enough that's why i'm telling you to try it when you put it under your eyes you try it and then if it creases a little bit then you go back pat it with your brush your fingers and then you reapply some powder if it's cakey um even after all of those steps especially with the eye primer under your eyes um it's because you didn't apply enough eye cream so you have to apply more even if it looks crazy the amount that you're putting like i put i think two moisturizers on my face i put the primer that i brought all the way to my eyes um i also put two eye creams this morning because now we're in more like the afternoon um and i re-added more <laughs> more eye cream the primer under my eyes as well so i put a lot of things under my eyes to keep it from creasing and don't be shy you really have to try it and it works i'm telling you it works it's magic thank you wingoss like you're like 
your tips and tricks are needed. If it's too bright, um, that's what I talked about earlier with the gray cask and everything. That's why I use two different concealers. So one that is more like my skin tone, um, the Too Faced, and the one that is lighter to brighten up certain areas, especially that I have like a holo, like, like I have this... It's not bad, okay, but it's fat right there uh, where my nose is. And then after that, it's very thin. So you can see the darkness seeping through over there. So that's why I put this under my eye. And then the lighter concealer, I put it way lower. So there's barely any chance of creasing for this one. Then try to have like a fast absorbing eye cream. So it doesn't take too long and it doesn't just comes out. You know, because sometimes like moisturizers that just sit on your skin that's not good it really has to go into your skin and you have to feel it after when you touch it that it's not like slippery or anything so if your eye makeup really transfers to your concealer or anything it's because you either put too much of your eye cream and too much moisturizing ingredients under your eyes or it's because you didn't set your concealer properly so that's another thing that you want to be careful with is again the ratio and there's no perfect ratio like you really have to try it for yourself to know if it works or not. And that is what my under eye looks like. And it really lasts all day long. Sometimes, especially when I use cream concealers like these, of course, it's going to crease a little tiny bit, but way less than if I had, a, you know, not the under eye primer. So that is something that you have to consider is that it's all never perfect. So it might crease a little bit during the day, totally normal. But I'm telling you, this trick will save you so much. Like, so, so much. Tell me down below if you ever did that. Uh, maybe sometimes I talked about putting a little bit of setting powder before applying the rest. That might be a little trick also if you're oily and if you want to avoid everything creasing that's another trick and if you like this video make sure to like and to comment down below again if you liked this video if you want to see more if you want some more tips and tricks on concealer and everything i would love to share with you guys and also consider subscribing to my youtube channel if you want to see five videos a week monday through friday all on beauty related so i really really love you beauties i really hope that you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching again and i will definitely see you in the next one bye beauties